In this lesson, you'll learn how to do an inventory count. It's important to count your inventory regularly to account for any variance. To perform an inventory count, go to the Inventory menu and select Take Inventory. Here we can see a list of our previous inventory counts. If there are any pending or active inventory counts which contain the products you currently want to count, you will not be able to add them until the past inventory counts are completed or deleted. All of my past inventory counts are completed, so I'll press New to create a new one. And then type in the name. Then press Next at the bottom of the screen. We'll then need to select which products we want to count by pressing the Add button and select the products. In this example, I'm going to count my Dermalogica Age Smart range. When you're finished selecting the products you would like to count, press Start. Press Yes to activate the inventory count. Now we can select which reports we want to print. And by checking this box, the current levels for each product will also be printed on the inventory count form. The inventory count form is the main form that you would use during an inventory count, so this is where you would write down all the quantities as you're counting each product. The Unlist Items form is used to document any products you find during an inventory count that aren't already in the system. The form can be used as a checklist to ensure that you don't forget to add these products into shortcuts. The Inventory Maintenance form is used to document any products that are no longer usable. An example of this could be finding a product that's past its use-by date. Once you've chosen which forms you'd like to print, press Done to continue. As I'm going through and counting each product, I'll enter the numbers into the Count column. And shortcuts will calculate any variance based on your average cost. If something comes up and you need to finish the inventory count later, you can just press Done and then come back into it when you're ready and continue from where you left off. Once you've finished entering your count, press Finish. Then Shortcuts will ask us if we want to complete the inventory count, which means that our current product levels will be updated. We'll select Yes. If there was any variance, we will then be prompted to recount the items that varied from the computer count. If you want to recount, you can select Yes, or to continue with updating your current levels, click No. Now Shortcuts is telling us that we've completed the inventory count and our product levels have been adjusted accordingly, so we can press Done to finish. Now that you know how to complete an inventory count, you can regularly count your products to ensure that your levels are correct.